CCAN Electronics is 100% DoD focused on integrating electronics hardware into mission critical systems. CCAN Electronics set out to build a modular ground control station, which is the unit you see here, which provides command and control for unmanned aerial systems in the defense industry. This system is designed for military operations and such we provided a man portable unit uh, that could be carried into theater of operation to support our ground troops. The mobility of the GCS allows operations in tactical operation centers or even right next to the flight line. Current solutions available on the market have multiple cases, multiple laptops, uh, multiple components, and what drove us to the Pelican case was a ruggedized uh, form factor that allowed all the components to be integrated into one system. The three high brightness displays allow the operator to choose between the command and control and payload based applications. The way we've integrated the processors, power supplies, and cooling system allow for rapid configuration changes. The GCS provides all interfaces necessary for ground data terminals. Battery backup, power switches, interface to the ground data terminal, camera controller interface. The ground control station can be used anywhere you're looking for information or surveillance. It can be used for fighting fires, it can be used to survey power lines in remote areas. Uh, it also can enhance command and control during disaster relief missions. CCAN has been around for over 30 years. It started locally here when four engineers left a company and created what they called Second Chance. In the beginning years, we focused on build to print, which is basically building somebody else's product. Of recently, partnering with Pelican, uh, we've come up with our own product that we can take to market. I think currently we're we're working with UAVs, but we can see the ground control system being used uh, on sea, on land, under sea, for all, all types of unmanned uh, vehicles. We set the bar really high. In order to succeed, we have to have quality suppliers, quality people working in a quality management system that delivers performance every time. I think at the end of the day, our real mission is to make sure the warfighter comes home safely.